Hi, it's Renee. This is the day five of uh, Ethany's challenge, the 31 days of tarot, and this is the card that stalked me all through 2016, the one that kept coming up over and over, and did I learn the lesson? So I think back, I had three cards that kept coming up over and over, time and time. And I wanted to illustrate them by the use of these two marvelous decks, the Medieval Scapini by Luigi Scapini and the Tarot of the Sevenfold Mystery by Robert M. Place. These cards are so beautiful um, and just magnificent in their color, um, the print quality, and um, especially these cards are quite extraordinary. Uh, so I think the major card that you really came up all the time was this moon card. And I just wanted to point out some. This is one of my favorite moon cards of any deck I own. Um, the moon at the top, the two columns, the crayfish, and the two dogs. But also in this depiction, and you know, I wouldn't have known um, unless I had read the little white book. And then the, the art and arcana is also um, the book that comes with it. But it points out that, um, that Anubis is the Egyptian god of the dead. And he is sitting in the form of this violet dog right there, which is absolutely gorgeous, very Egyptian looking. And then um, across from him is this howling wolf. The tower here has an ancient astrologer, and this tower has, supposedly is Galileo's telescope. And then they're supposed to sh show this shadowy scape um, across and only lit by the moon. Um, so when I see this card, and again, this is a great depiction. This is Robert M. Place's um, depiction. And he has will, reason, and appetite, and also it looks like a little crab in the water, and this is a dog figure and a mermaid, there's the moon, um, the water is meant to depict emotion, but what I gathered from this moon card was a couple things, of course there was some mystery, there was some element of deception, things not appearing as they were, a clouded vision of what's going on. And I think that happened quite a bit in 2016. There were things that I couldn't quite put my finger on, um, and it was not coming to light. This moon card is sort of looking to your intuition um, and it also with the phases of the moon there's the um, full moon there's the new moon so there's that period of um, building up and that period of releasing so what this meant to me was um, the timing and the cycles of life the cycles of the moon um, waiting on the answer, looking deep, um, looking beyond the um, deception and the illumination um, with time. So, so that was um, the first theme that kept running, that thread that kept running over the last year. The next card that I um, seem to pick often was also the other major arcana that I saw a lot and that was the hangman. I won't really go into much detail of this card but there is so much detail but it basically talks about a lot of sacrifice um, and so um, it talks about life in suspension it's like suspended animation. You're upside down. You're upside down with your thoughts. You're just kind of there. 
um, sort of uncertain, a period of waiting. Um, you know, when you're upside down, all the blood rushes to your head. So maybe that's the concentration in your mind to really think through the problems. Um, this is a more simpler depiction of the hanged man, and it is called the traitor in this deck. But really that person appears to be um, in this suspended uh, state against their will, but they're not really fighting. There's no real struggle. They're kind of going with it. Um, so I guess this was just sort of the idea. Just bide your time, wait it out, wait on the ideas to come. Um, do your hard work and persevere and through that dedication and the time and patience and thinking through um, the other things that um, were possibly um, not obvious would come to light and be sorted out. So those were sort of a connected theme. And then, <laughs> I love this. I don't know... This just reminds me of a political picture using the elephant. Um, and then this one is uh, the same in the um, medieval Scapini deck. It's the Four of Cups. Um, basically, and not necessarily in this depiction, but basically I think of the Four of Cups as... Um, just this dissatisfaction that you have. Um, it's emotion. So it's emotional dissatisfaction. Um, just unhappiness or boredom. Or not really doing doing anything about it. Just Just kind of being there. Um, and you know, usually the Four of Cups, it, it shows just that person underneath the tree and they're not really happy, um, with what they have. And I think this is sort of these three cups, but then there's this cup that's offered, but, um, they're just kind of not looking or taking note of that. They're, um, more or less just focusing on this um, side of things and not really um, looking at that one positive that's ahead. And I think that makes so much sense over the last year of, of focusing too much on the things that were not to be or um, unmanifested hopes and dreams and still focusing on that, which tends to be a negative um, focus. Um, Sort of like, hey, maybe a wake-up call. Stop doing that. Stop living in the illusion, living in the deception, living in the unhappy state, living in a limbo state, and just go for something else that's being offered. Kind of like n not seeing the forest for the tree, or really not seeing the tree for the forest in this case. Um, so yeah, these, these cards really spoke about release, and I see that in the moon, releasing what no longer serves you, um, really taking time to think about it, think about what you want, think about what you don't want, think about everything really, um, trusting in your instinct to know when something doesn't make any sense, trusting in your instinct that um, your gut is really trying to tell you something and listen to it um, and wait it out. You know, time will tell with the moon, with the cycles of the moon. Time will tell. So that's basically what I learned from these cards and... Um, Hopefully that lesson is learned so I don't have to revisit that 
in 2017. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. I look forward to seeing your responses as well for uh, day five.